Okay, let me come back to the um, Ajax. I will remove this console.log for now. Oh, let me leave that in there just in case. So the problem that I did is uh, this is where things go when there's an error. And this is where things go when there's no error. So this is my bad. I don't know why I did this. This should have been here. So let me cut this uh, out and put it here. And let me remove the print readable. Actually, we don't need that. But we may need data here to be empty just for the sake of it. Okay, so these are the silly mistakes that we make. So this one goes when there's an error and when there's no error, that's when we want to make a table. So what I will do is you can do that for both sides if you want, uh, that's fine. So let me go back to the class here again and make sure I don't have any echoes here. Ajax and here. So I, I think I can remove the console.log at this point. Let's refresh the page. And I'll say add new and um, oh, one more thing I had done is I had uh, while well, where is this in the class here add uh, commented out the right part here to avoid writing new categories while testing so you can do that when you are testing you just comment this out so that whatever you type there is not really saved in the database so I can remove that so let me come back here and let's give it a test run. So here we will say something like um, maybe meat could be um, a category. Let me save. Okay, so we have a JSON parse error there. So which means uh, we actually did need the console.log. So let's try that again, refresh. Let's see if meat was saved. Ah, meat was saved. Okay, so what else can we add here? Clothes, um, books. Let's try something like bags. And let's save. So we see the error in the process. So fatal error, uncaught, caught to undefined method, PDO read. So where is this? Uh, so it seems we are reading, we are, it's that read. Uh, we are not defining our, our DB. And this is in category class.php online 45, right? And if you look at the stack trace here, it was called in when we said get all. So there's the get all function here, which is um, implicated in this matter. So, what I will do is go back to my, uh, I think I know what the problem is, so I can happily remove the console.log, but you can leave it there for uh, troubleshooting. So let's go to the get all. Actually, no, I may not actually know what's going on. This is, uh... wait a minute. It's saying code to undefined read. Hmm. So I don't know what's happening here. Let's try this way again, just to see. So maybe I will need that console.log after all. So also what I will do is I will, in the category class, I will remove this so that I don't save anything there. And let's come back here. I want to see what errors I get. So add, let me just add some gibberish and save. Then I can go to my console and see what I got. Okay, so here we have undefined variable check. So that, that's fine. This is caused by, we unmute, uh, we muted the check here. So that's, that's okay. And uh, what really is the error here? The real error is this fatal error here. Fatal error means it failed to continue. So, call to undefined method, PDO read. So, on line 45. 
so it's telling me that uh, read is not correct so let's go to our database then and see if read is not correct so let's see here uh, but there's read right there and there's write so what is going on so of course uh, let me remove that there that's definitely not the issue so the issue is because we are using the same instance uh, of db because when uh, we say get instance it uh, it duplicates the same instance again so the fact that we are using uh if i go to ajax.php here inside the create we are coming back to category and creating an instance here so this is the same instance we are getting down here so there are several ways to solve this problem and let's go with the easy one so let's go to database inside the core so the same way we have get instance there will be times when we just need to create a new instance of the db class right so the idea is to get as few instances as possible so we only get a new one when we get an error that is telling us um the same error that we got uh, where is this oh it's gone now but uh the same error that we got which says uh, no unknown method right which is read so if we get that then instead of get instance let's make a new function called new instance here in the database class and then let's just remove this if statement here like so and that's uh, it so this one just creates a new instance that's all for those times when we need one so let me close this so whenever you're not sure just create a new instance and that should solve the problem so here instead of get instance let's create a new instance here and then let's do the reading up there so inside categories here um console.log so let's see if we're going to receive that message again i don't know why my graphics card driver is uh, acting up but uh, let me add some gibberish again and hit save and this time um i do get this syntax error unexpected character but that's because there's a notice here which says undefined variable check but otherwise it seems like i'm getting my data back as required so let me just go back to the same and remove console.log i will go to ajax here actually category and up there i will undo the check that i had not saved there and refresh so let's add one more category here uh, let's just say cars for the sake of uh, and then we see category added successfully and then i'll say okay and then at this point you actually see the categories uh in here so these are the categories that we actually have it would be nice to have the first category at the top here uh, that is always much better so to do that we will go back to our categories oh no actually the category class where we are reading from the database let's just say order by id descendant okay just like this now i will copy this information right there okay and then i will come back to uh categories.php right here in because if you notice once we load the if i refresh this uh, we don't see anything so i want it to load immediately so which is not a big deal because we can do that right here so what i will say instead is this i will put my php tags here like that and then closing tag and then all i will do is load in the uh 
let's see do we have an instance of this yet i don't know maybe we do so we can just get a new instance there that's fine and then instead of return here we're just going to set this to um let's say categories is equal to db read select all from categories order by whatever that is and then here <coughs> we will come back and do make table with categories there so we will need let me come back up here to the what is this one um the admin and inside category so i want to see what models were loaded here mm. okay there we go so we have the user's data here so instead of us having to let me come back here let's do this here and then we will we will do other things later there so what i will say is let's come back here and i will say um category is equal to new this is the class that i'm creating i will say this lord model and what is the model name category is it category like so so i can use the capital that's fine and then here at this point i will say make table right tbl rows so you can name this anything you want of course is equal to that and then all i will simply do is echo those rows right here so i will echo here so let's see how that fares in our when we just load everything so undefined variable cats on line 74 okay so that one is my bad it should be this one here save that and let's refresh and we still don't get anything uh wait a minute that's because we categories this is the result actually so copy we're trying to make a table from an object the problem is the names are too close this is the category class so if you want you can put class at the end here just so you can know what uh, this object is so if i refresh i see these guys here 